name is Brandon, I'm from Roaming Reptiles, and I'm going to read a chapter out of We All Can't Be Rattlesnakes. So here we go. I had shed a skin the day of my capture. As always, the slothing left me famished. So I curled up under a shady creosote and eagerly awaited the first rodent to cross my path. Gopher was at the top of my list, though I was so hungry that I gladly settled for even a nasty, grisly little shrew. A rodent did not cross my path first thing in the morning, however. A lower life form did, a human. Humans are not all that difficult to, to detect. Their footfalls are thunderous. My best hope was to freeze and hope my camouflage would conceal me. The chances of this were good, Human senses are pretty dull. The creature approached. It was an oily, filthy, fleshy human child. It leaned forward, squinting with malicious eyes. I was f familiar with humans at this point only from afar, but even from there, I found them, I found their species scaleless, fangless, clawless, and nearly furless. I honestly didn't understand how they thrived so. This particular specimen was notably, notably on the plump side. Its face and limbs boasted a collection of bruises, scrapes, and scabs. Its splotchy pale skin, pink from the sun, showed the beginnings of a sloth of its own. Cool, the kid whispered to itself. Rattler. How I wished it were true. One well-aimed shot of venom and this story would have ended on the spot. Humans often mistake gopher snakes for rattlesnakes, which is reasonable, considering that we happen to be dead ringers for them. This is a good thing when the naive humans runs away screaming. It's a bad thing when the human beats the gopher snake to a pulp with a stick. That's when the expression dead ringer becomes only too apt. I stopped playing dead and started playing rattlesnake. I shook my tail. Rattlers aren't the only ones who can do this. They're merely the most flamboyant about it. Technically, a rattlesnake's tail doesn't even rattle. It buzzes. My tail rattles. I also started hissing my nastiest hiss. When the gopher snakes hissed with the best of them, the dumb kid moved even closer. Nope, you're a gopher snake, it said. I had to give it credit. The observation alone probably put it among the greatest minds of its species. Just my luck. I redoubled my rattling and coiled up into an S. I may not be a rattler. That doesn't mean I'm invertebrate or something. I'm a big, strong, mean, and through, though not deadly to humans, my bite doesn't exactly tickle. Apparently I got this across. The kid turned and walked away. Alas, it returned a moment later, brandishing a club of some kind. The time had come to abandon play acting. It was time to flee. Fleeing was not something I excelled at. We gopher snakes are the snails of the snake world. The kid made a grab for me with, my, with, with a pudgy paw. I snapped at it, hissing by only a hair's breadth. That's not very nice, the kid said, stepping back, a smirk on its sweaty face. Humans give me the creeps. They are so slimy. I inched away, forget being a rattlesnake. What I wished to be right now was a hare. The kid dragged the end of the club through the dirt, slid it under my belly, and hoisted me off the ground. A snake has no greater fear than that of falling. It's the lack of limbs. We can do nothing to prevent ourselves from flopping onto our ribs. And snakes, and a snake is nothing but ribs. The kid took, a, took advantage of my wooziness and gripped me behind my jaws with its finger and thumb. I wrapped my coils around its arm and squeezed. I hissed as I had never hissed before. I nearly scared myself. You got a good grip there, the kid said. 
think I'll call you Crusher. I gave the kid points for knowing I was a constrictor, but I docked him some points for laboring under the, com the common misconception that, const that constrictors crush. We don't. We asphyxiate. We tighten around our victims until they can no longer draw a breath. Then we swallow them whole. I was trying neither to crush nor to asphyxiate this human. I'm not dense. The kid was huge, not to mention unsavory. I was just holding on for dear life. Come on, Crusher, it said, grinning. Come see your new home. As if I had any say in the matter. So like I say in all my shows, I encourage people to own reptiles, uh, but do your research and get a book. Learn about the animal first before you get it. And uh, if you're ever out in the desert and you see one, uh, do not pick it up unless you are 100% sure of what it is. Uh, be sure you understand your surrounding and what's around it. Uh, if you do that and you learn about these animals, they are amazing, amazing pets. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate it.